Kung Lao is the most requested character by far in the comment section, and according to tournament commentators, Kung Lao has the best armor attack in the entire game, and I can't wait to see it! Leave a like down below if you love Kung Lao, and without any further ado, let's hop in practice mode to find out if he's terrific or terrible. Alright, here we go. First up, these special moves, because I must find this armored attack, alright? The holy armored ability. First up, Buzzsaw. Oh, I like that it staggers up. That's kind of cool. I like how they're stunned. Not gonna lie. What's the meter burn? Oh, just more damage, looks like. And it hits mid. That's important. This game's kind of tricky about that. The animation looks the same. Like, it's not any closer to the ground. It's not any bigger, but it still hits mid. That's kind of deceiving. All right, here we go. What's it like on block? I imagine very, very unsafe. Oh yeah, minus 14. What's the meter burn? Minus 7. That's not punishable. That's actually safe, so you have to block it because it's mid and it's safe on block. That's pretty good. Next up, we have hat toss. Wait, I just did a hat toss, but I guess we're just using different names now. Okay, hat toss. Oh, wait, that's just a mid by default? Can I aim this one? I can. Kung Lao, for some reason, in every game since MK9, you can aim his hat, and I absolutely love it. So by default, it's a mid. That's really good. What's it like on block? Minus 20. Very, very unsafe. Even if I aim it, is it still unsafe? Yeah, still minus 20. What's the uh, meter burn version like on hit? Whoa, that's lightning quick. That might be one of the fastest projectiles in the game, at this distance at least. That's crazy, and I can still aim it, right? Absolutely. That's ridiculous. What's it like on block? <laughs> That's a really good projectile, I'm not gonna lie. And it's interesting because Kung Lao is more of a rushdown character in this game, but he still has a deadly projectile. That being said, I'm pretty sure you have to wait for his hat to come back. Yes, you do. So you can't just hit the opponent and then throw it right away. You have to wait for his hat to come back, which is a bizarre limitation, always unique to Kung Lao. Next up, we have Shaolin Shimmy. All right, who allowed Kung Lao to name the moves? Y'all gotta stop with this. Only Kung Lao could think of that name. The Shaolin Shimmy. I love that. It's a speed bag. It should be called the Shaolin Speed Bag. It's got a lot of hits on it. I love the animation, but I don't like how it knocks the opponent really far away. That's kind of counterintuitive to what Kung Lao wants to do. What's it like on block? Minus 15. Very, very bad. What's the EX version on hit? Oh, it launches. Is this the fabled armor attack that I've heard legends of? Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's safe. So this is safe on block. Is this the armored attack? I must see. Let's check the notes real quick. It'll tell me. Yes, it is. Here is the legendary armored attack. This is the best wake up in the entire game because it's safe on block. And if you land the hit, plenty of cameo characters can launch the opponent and keep it going. Or in other words, this armor attack starts combos but is not risky at all. It's safe on block. And that's why pro players and tournament commentators are calling this the best wake up in the game. There's almost no risk and a really high reward. Full combo on hit, no punish on block. Anyway, it's time for Kung Cushion. Oh my goodness. Kung Cushion, are we serious? Don't let Kung Lao cook. Don't let him name these moves. Oh, it's the headlock. So it's not a throw. It looks like a throw, but it just hits mid. Can't duck under it. And I think the enhanced version leads to combos. Yeah, 110%. Um, I held down by accident though. Oh yeah, 110%. In fact, can I just combo after it normally? I might not even need a cameo. Yeah, I can just combo after it anyway, but I imagine some cameos like Serena can give you even more damage. What's it like on block though? I imagine it's absolute death. Yep, minus 15. EX version is minus 15. So it's terrible on block. Make sure to only hit confirm into this thing. Oh boy, it's time for Shaolin Spin. The input for this move is stupid. I know it's a callback to the classic games. It's still stupid to put down up inputs in this game. I just gotta say it. It's a really dumb idea. Does it launch the opponent? It does not. That's crazy. For like over 20 years now, this move has launched the opponent. What's the EX version like? Still does not launch the opponent. I guess that's what makes Cameo Kung Lao so unique, but man, that's kind of crazy. Wait, is there a cooldown? There's not. I'm just doing it wrong. Okay, so this move does not launch the opponent and has a really, really dumb input. However, there could be other things about this move that's great. What's it like on block? Minus 19, EX... Also minus 19. What's the damage like? Is the damage decent at least? I wouldn't say it's crazy. It's okay. 70? I mean, that's okay, I guess. A regular poke can do that much damage. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, yeah. Perfect example. Does 70 all by itself. So a special move only doing 70 is not that great. Kung Lao, more like Dung Lao. This move seems like absolute doo-doo water. Oh, wait, there's more to it. You can hold it down and you can travel with it and you can cancel it. Okay. Can I hold down any version? I can. I can. Does it do more damage? Nope, same damage. I'm gonna hold it down all the way. Nope, not more damage. Can I travel with it? Apparently I can travel with it. 
No? Maybe only EX. Yeah, that's kind of fun. <laughs> that's kind of fun, but it seems very gimmicky. I don't know why you would actually want to spend a meter on that, unless it reflects projectiles or something. Otherwise, like, spin to win looks cool, but why would I ever want to do it? Man, I can't get the down up input. That's so stupid. Why did they do that? But anyway, on to the next move, Soaring Monk. Yeah, this move is godlike. I think it needs a meter to combo after, but it's still really cool. Spin bar on it, and you can attack on the way down, which is dope. But, oh, I dropped it. But you get the idea. It's possible. It's very possible. In fact, you could just do an airstring. I don't know what his airstrings are, but you could also do that. But once again, it's time to move on. We have the dive kick last. Awesome. It's just called dive kick. Apparently, Kung Lao ran out of name ideas and just called it what it is, the dive kick. This move recovers lightning quick when it misses. Look at this. It's not as fast as MK9, but my goodness, look how fast he recovers if he misses this thing. That's crazy. It's pretty much a get in tool if you dodge something. You could be full screen away, jump a projectile, dive kick, and then come down attacking, and the opponent probably has to block that, which is just crazy. It's so fast, and on hit, it just knocks him down. Not bad. What is the EX version like? Oh, it launches. That's pretty sick. I like that it launches, although honestly, it should be an overhead. Someone's got to say it, Netherrealm. It should be an overhead. Should be an overhead. You could do this, though. Oh, but what's it like on block? I imagine it's really unsafe. Let's see. Minus 20, okay? EX version? Also really bad. Minus 18, not quite as bad. What if I hit the opponent in the feet? I don't think it matters. It's still just as bad. It's minus 16. Actually, it did go down. It did go down. It went down. If you land it closer to the opponent's feet, then it's actually harder for the opponent to punish you. That's really cool. All right, then that's actually it for the special moves. Now it's time for the attack strings. These are actually my favorite. I'm weird like that, but I love attack strings. They're so much fun. What's this one like on block? Minus six, very safe. Does that launch? It might. At the very least, I bet it's special cancels. Yeah, you can kind of just tell by the appearance when a move can be special cancelled or not. Can I dash after it? Not to keep the combo going, but I could use Goro. Next up, we have Sweep the Foot, ends in a low. That's pretty cool. With certain cameos like Scorpion, this could be really good because Scorpion has an overhead mix-up. Actually, Goro does too. I keep forgetting that Goro has a 50-50 built in. What is this first hit? It is so stubby, and it's a high too. Opponent could duck under this. So stubby. Oh, look how fast it is though, six frames. Is there anything else in the game that's six frames? Is this the only six frame punish in the game? Am I crazy? It combos too. Does Kung Lao have the best punish in the game? Let me know in the comments if anybody else has a 6 frame combo starting punish. <laughs> Madam Elbow, come on, stop with that goofiness. Then we have the 8 trigram palm because someone's a Naruto fan. In every single game, Kung Lao has this. Oh, but it's different now. It's not the rapid punches. So you can just do the first two, the first three. It's not dial in. The last hit is completely optional. It better be safe on block that final hit. It's not, it's minus 12. What are the first three? Minus five. What's that last hit even for? It just does more damage and knocks the opponent away, but you would never want to do it. Anyway, onto the next move. We have the human weapon. Okay, sounds really cool. And also looks like a mid. Yes, a mid and it's 12 frames. What's the second hit? Oh, just a free launcher. What's that like on block? Minus 13, punishable, dang, you have to wait. Can you see if this hits and then follow it up? Yeah, you kinda can. Offline, it's gonna be way easier than online, but you can wait to see if it hits and then finish it. Can I keep that going? Oh my gosh, I forgot you guys. So the dive kick is so fast that you can land before the opponent, even without spending bar, and still keep the combo going. Once again, I've never played this character, but I'm gonna give it a try. How cool is that? You can just keep the combo going without any meter. That's some MK9 stuff, and I absolutely love it. Oh, but then we have the overhead. Downward slice, baby. Ooh, a big overhead. What's that like on block? Is it punishable? Is it death? It is. Minus 19, and the startup is 18, so it's reactable, and it's fully punishable on block. Do you see that, Sub-Zero players? Do you see that? You're not alone. Kung Lao's in your same boat. Can you do normal follow-ups? Oh, you can't. You're forced to special cancel interesting or you could cameo right you could land it cameo and then get your follow-up absolutely totally possible but otherwise unlike sub-zero he does not get like a jump cancel or anything he's just forced to do a special cancel if no one's around in fact i think what i see most people do if they don't have cameo is this Bonk. Very basic. Focused footsies. I like that name. And then you have Monastery Mix-Up. So low and overhead. Cool. Does either one of them combo? That one does not, to be sure. What's it like on block? It is safe. Awesome. What's the overhead like? Also safe. Does it combo? 
it does not. That's very MK9, which is sick because you get to dash in for frame advantage. You can pretty much guarantee this overhead. They're forced to deal with it. That's really cool. Okay, two more strings, one more time, and get back. So what's one more time? Oh, a big combo starter. Looks like. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Does this reach? It does. So you could do that. Something cool like that, right? Or you could do the head grab, maybe? You can't do that. Can't do the head grab. Could do this, though. That seems like a really damaging starter with just the first two hits, even. That hurts, so... Let's keep it simple. Oh, they get launched. Darn it. Otherwise, that'd be great. Then we have this one. Oh, ends in a big mid. Fancy little spin. Looking pretty, Kung Lao. Ooh, plus. Plus one. And look how close I am. That means I can try and bully with this. Oh, that's crazy. That's really good. How fast is this? 10 frames? Kung Lao's fast. I'm just gonna say it. They're high attacks, but Kung Lao is fast. I don't think most characters have this many normals that are under 12 frames. That's crazy. And then we have forward circle, though. Oh, that's a drop kick. Cool. Yeah, I like this move. It just starts combos. Like, straight up. You hit them. Bonk. You can, like, dash forward. Oh, they're in the air, though. They're kind of this airborne. So, you get a follow-up, but, like, nothing too crazy. But you still get a follow-up. What's this like on block? Is it safe? I think it is. No, it's minus 23 with tons of pushback, though. So, you could try to call in Goro and keep yourself safe, maybe. Like, behind the opponent, even. No, he doesn't reach. But there are ways to keep yourself safe. I guarantee you that Goro could at least cover you, like, getting back up. So, that's kind of cool. Definitely not worth the risk, in my opinion. But maybe there are situations, like, after Serena, where he can guarantee this. And that's why it's really good. It does 90. So, that's pretty good. Like, 90 damage, then this, is pretty good. Like, all by itself. So, maybe you could, like, land a hit confirm of some kind. A damaging hit confirm. I think here's the most damaging, right? You could land that, call in Serena, do this then end with this and that's a lot of meterless damage you're probably cracking like 35 percent or something which sounds really good okay time for the air strings he does not have too many one two four and three four three that's all he's got that's not too many okay one two four is first oh can i special cancel that huh i can that's pretty cool yeah, then keep the combo going. That could totally work. Cool. Then we have 4-3-4. Four, four. Really damaging. Knocks the opponent super far away. Just the first two. And I can dive kick. And that combos. Hallelujah. Finally a combo. I was waiting for an airstream that combos into dive kick. And the ground bounce. Ooh, that could be cool. There we go. Ooh, look at the damage. Almost 35%, just one bar of meter. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool. But now, finally, it's time for the Fatal Blow, everyone's favorite. What's the range like on this thing? Oh, it hits twice. I was not expecting that. The first hit does not have very good range, but it's a low. That's a low netherrealm. Y'all are dirty with this. Who at the studio was mean about that? He's clearly not punching below the belt. And of course, the damage is 35%, just like everyone else. But does that hit restand? I'm just curious. It does. Wow, I was not expecting that. I actually thought they would not be restood until the second hit, but that first hit, if it lands, is guaranteed, and it's quick. That is a quick punch, which means this fatal blow is much better than I thought. As long as you're close to the opponent, it's so fast that you can end any combo with this thing, even a long combo, and that's pretty cool. But that just makes sense. This is Kung Lao. The guy is lightning quick. He has a six-frame combo starter, so it makes sense his fatal blow would be quick too, and he has the best armored launcher in the game. But now's the part where I make this video interactive and ask you about your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think Kung Lao is incredible or should he be buffed a little bit? Keep in mind, I read every single comment, so grab that keyboard and make your voices heard. And then while you're down there, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. It really does help my channel out a ton. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.